This is a showcase video showcasing the Elven Glade level. Uh, right now we're over in the Sacred Grove area uh, behind the fountain, the Sacred Fountain. Uh, this fountain is rumored to be the fountain or the key of life or everlasting youth or whatnot. Um, and that's just for this level. Um, but right now we're coming across uh, some reshi mushrooms that I have modeled uh, using my own textures, of course. Pretty much the whole uh, whip, the whole mod, House of Cards will be uh, pretty much from scratch. Uh, I might be using a few uh, more wind statics, as you can see that tree right there. Um, and the palm tree right in front. Oh, there's a tree right there. <laughs> Um, most definitely I'll be using that throughout the level. Uh, this is still in a very heavy whip form. Uh, I'm still working on landscape meshing. It's a lot of tweaks and kinks I gotta work out. Um, right now we're looking at the Elven and Palm Tree. Uh, as you can see, I've already have some of the basic layout of the uh, Sacred Grove, where the fountain is at. Um, and right now you can see the water lilies in the water, the lily pads, and pretty much a lot of the textures that I use were uh, from Google, because my Google feed was pretty good. <laughs> um, and one of my favorite objects we're looking at right now, the enchanted uh, stump. It's uh, an elf cup and a uh, Russian mushroom sticking out of it. Right now we're looking at the giant parasol fungi. Pretty good texturing right there, I guess. <laughs> As most of the master textures out there. Uh, oh well, anyway. <laughs> um, kind of. It's my first time doing this. I'm kind of nervous. Very, very shy. Camera shy, so bear with me. But anyway, on to see what else the level is about. Uh, the ground textures that you see will be <clears throat> used, but I have to fix the UVs on the actual landscaping mesh because of the fact that when I initially did it, I wasn't having in mind the actual player or NPC, whatever you want to call it, on there, excuse me, but um, it kind of like got blurry, <laughs> so I have to go on ahead and uh, just read all of it, because it's just rough. It's temporary textures, I have to go back with my stepping stones and adjust a few things on there so it can actually look like it's wet instead of blah. <laughs> Um, but here's an area we're about to approach right now, and this is actually the water level that will be not in the final making of it, but just temporary because I have to deepen out where the water is going to be at so that it can be a lot more inviting, I guess. But I do have to create other areas so that you'll be able to come up out of the water just in case you fall in and you don't know, make your steps on the stepping stones that's in the water as you see there. <clears throat> um, there's another scene I created. Right, it came out pretty good. Um, these were like some of the prototype ideas that I had when I initially started creating the Elven Blade. Um, so I just went and took everything that I had done in Blender and just put it in the CS so that it could be manifested because that's what I am going to be using. So the concept for the Sacred Grove area, not behind the fountain, but the actual fountain area, will be kept. And along with what we're looking at right now, will be kept as well. Um, as you can see here, the Dwarven Palm Tree leaves, they have an alpha property on it. Uh, so you can actually kind of like see through it like most leaves you can kind of like see through it but not all the way but I have to tweak the alpha on that just to make sure that it will do that. 
Um. Oh no, my skin saver. Okay, <laughs> back on track. Uh, also, right now, I'm still in the process of creating a lot of the plants and flowers. I have a lot of concept art that I was supposed to model and implement, but you know how real life is. Anywho, uh, let me just get up out of the water here. And also, this character is just a tester character. Nothing real fancy with me. <clears throat> so now a lot of the terrain is very it's not as smooth as I'd like it to be um main reason is because it was just like really rough so some of the, the fall off is completely off because what I did was that I took and uh used a grid first and then started using materials and then from there just started creating the landscape for it. I did a little extrusion there to make the waterfall uh, wall area. And right now that's what we're coming up across. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we're also now going inside the actual cave. And I have a lot of ideas about this. I just haven't implemented a lot of them yet. But uh, the green stuff on there, <laughs> it's actual moss. It's supposed to be like slightly damp. Again, I have to work out all the texturing. I'm not going down in there because I might get stuck. But it, it'll uh, hold a mighty secret. <clears throat> Whatever's going to be down there when I get my ideas together. Um, I didn't want to put a lot of ladders going up to the top tier of the Elven Glade because that would be looking really weird. Um. But, like I said, the scale on this isn't all that great, but there's the outer part of the cave, too, outside of it. So, um, it's <laughs> just way too much I have to do. Um, but as much as I can, working on this alone is a little bit more harder, but right now I'm getting ready. I forgot to go back through <laughs> the actual, uh... I guess you can call it a river or a stream that's going through the actual blade itself and this is from the second tier here because I'm going to expand out on the landmass so that it could be more of a um, engulfing or a better environment to make it seem as if it were more than just what you see here um, a lot of the fall off is very sharp and I will uh, be blending the textures so when I go to UV it it will actually blend in with the mesh so it will look a lot more natural because right now it looks like crap. <laughs> um, and right now I'm looking at... Yeah, that, that stepping stone needs to be adjusted. <laughs> I don't like it. Like when I first uh, put it out when I first did it, textured it, and had it in nip scope, then I brought it into the CS, and the CS looks beautiful. But then when I put it in game, that's when the chain, it, it, I don't know if my gloss maps are taking effect or whatnot. Not that I don't know how to apply them, it's just, I don't know what's wrong. I have to fiddle around with it because I don't have, probably I don't have the proper uh, video card using one of those kind of like built-in things but oh well but if you if you happen to be using one of those I guess the I don't know what to call it the stuff that makes your graphics look nice then things might look better but uh, right now we're getting ready to showcase a few surprises because the Elven Glade will not be just a smooth walk through pick up stuff and leave <laughs> You'll actually have to go through a lot of painful things like this right here. <laughs> um, that mushroom right there poisons you. And right here is just showing the toxic cloud. I'm using the base spells that were included in the game. I might make a new few new spells. But my scripting skills are very new skills so I have to continue on. 
learning. Uh, but a lot of the references won't pick up in my script, so I just have to make sure that I rewrite the script and do it as best as I can. Uh, this spell right here that's being cast by the mushroom, uh, the giant parasol mushroom, is a spell that indeed that said it did create but did not put in the game. Um, I don't know why. It's a pretty good spell. So that one is a keeper. But I wanted to make a different spell for that one, but when I tried it through script, it didn't work for me very well. I'm unsure why, but that's just how it is. I think my computer is just going through a rough time right now. Um, and right now I'm about to show off the one of the Blood Rage Archer's Tantos. Her elven tantos that she wears on her boots. Uh, the reflection on it is pretty good. Um, all my reflection maps, I tend to try and make it as best as I can close to the environment so it would look more realistic. Um, and next is, of course, the Daisy Dagger. I've this is a different one here than what I've released already. <laughs> Because indeed it does have a reflection map on it. I'm still working on more textures to make it look better. But as you can see there is reflecting even on the blade. But the one that I released doesn't have one on there. <clears throat> so, uh, or if I did include that in there, I probably didn't put it on there. So, And here's the Japanese cherry blossom side as well. I'm showcasing off. I'm just showing off right now, guys. But pretty much that was the level. Uh, I still have more to expand on. But other than that, that is, I guess, the Elven Blade in the left, y'all. Alright, thanks for watching. Good night.